Peace and blessings to all my royals, my kings and queens. Welcome. Thank you for coming back to my channel and to all of my new royals, all my new kings and queens. Thank you um, for coming. A lot of people have been coming over from Facebook, a group that I belong to that I've been posting pictures in. Um, a couple people were already subscribers here. And then I noticed that a lot of people have started coming over um, since I've been posting pictures in Facebook. So I want to welcome you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And, um, you know, at the end of the video, if it's something that you like or if you've seen some of my other videos or whatever and you like what you're seeing, you know, feel free to thumbs up the video. Leave messages down below, questions down below. Anybody on my channel will tell you that every question Every positive question gets answered. Um, this is a, a positive zone, um, very neutral, very, um, how can I say, my vibe is, hold on, my vibe is that of peace, and so any negativity is not allowed here, not against anybody else's comments, and nothing super negative against anything that I have to say. It, they, it will be deleted, period. You know, those are the only rules to this channel is that we flow with a, a very positive vibe here. Um, I don't have any, you know, usually I have notes on what I'm doing. And today I don't have any notes, hence I don't have on my glasses. I don't need them because I'm not reading anything. Um, just want to go over, let's see. I basically want to go over some things because there are a lot of new people here. And there's a lot of people here that haven't watched like, all my videos because I have a um a, th a stream of just you know dread videos. People also know that I do um, reviews on certain products and stuff like that, not for hair, but you know for other companies for um for review. However, for my my um, Nazi dreadlocks, I have just like a stream of videos that you can go through, and a lot of your questions will be answered. I'm just going to go over a few things that I normally talk about that some people that are new may not have heard and some people that have been here for a while may need to hear again. Okay, so first and foremost, um, how to grow healthy Nazi dreadlocks. Very important. It's not about how to grow super long Nazi dreadlocks, but how to grow healthy dreadlocks that are not going to fall off your head and, you know, be super dry or you know, just not seeming like they're doing anything. Everybody knows, and there's so many pop-ups coming up on my computer. This is crazy. Okay, everybody knows that my numero uno thing is moisture. Moisture is, is what really helps the skin, the nails, your body, your hair, all of that. It's all inclusive. Moisture. How do we put moisture into our bodies since our bodies are made up of what? I think it's 80 some percent, 80 percent. Don't quote me. Okay. There, there goes the dog. Sorry. Okay. Water. Back to water. Um, I drink about three of these a day. Um, sorry for him in the background. He hears people outside and he's been in my videos for a while now so sorry about that <sighs> but anyway drink your water it's it's so it's so important i mean it keeps your nails from getting brittle keeps your face clear your skin clear um also your hair i mean it helps to add the moisture back into your hair and you will see me drinking water through this video because normally i do it off the video but i'm so like thirsty right now i haven't had usually by now i've been i'll be on my second one but i'm not because i had so much stuff to do so i'm only going through my first one right now which by the end of the night i will be on my third before i go to bed hydrate yourself make sure that you keep water in your system if you're drinking anything else with like a lot of sugar um such as wine um anything with you know, any type of liquors or anything or uh, sodas, stuff like that. Uh, make sure that you're cleansing your body out more, you know, with, with water. Uh, I'm not saying don't do what you do because I can't knock anybody for what they do. I'm just saying that comes out through your skin, your hair, and your nails too. Like if you sit up and you drink all the time and you're not the type of person who... um 
drinks a lot of water, you will notice it in your skin. Um, sometimes you'll see a skin color change. Um, you'll just look kind of dull, kind of dry. So I would say that if that's an issue or so, uh, one thing you can do is cut back and replace with water. Okay, so that's my number one thing. Um, number two is stay out of your hair. Leave it alone. Quit worrying about it. Quit, quit playing with it. Quit twisting it. You know, let it go. Um, yeah, sometimes it's easy. You know, if you're sitting back chilling, you just kind of like playing in your hair. I have a, 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 a good thing for that. Like if you're watching TV and that's something that you do, I started wearing these caps instead of my the satin. I used to wear satin pillowcases to protect my hair from lint, debris, dog hair, the elements, all of that type of stuff. And I'm so glad that I found these dreadlock caps which I have in all the colors. I have tubes in all the colors. But this is a cap that I wear during the day when I'm not doing anything or when I'm cleaning up or whatever. And I also wear it to bed. So this is something, this is like something that you should use to protect your hair. Uh, I even wear them outside because like I said, I have like different color bands. So I don't look all, I don't, want, I don't like using the word ghetto. It doesn't look weird. I wear these up underneath my knit caps too, my, my huge um, Rasta uh, knit caps to protect my hair because it's, it's holding in the moisture in your hair. Cotton pulls and draws out the moisture. Lint gets in your hair and stuff. I don't know why I always lean to the left and always put my hair to the left. <laughs> um, but that is, uh, it's called, a, you can look, look it up online, but you can really go to your beauty supply store in your neighborhood and find them. And I found it relatively reasonable, um, uh, for, I think like between $3.99 and some stores, $4.99 other stores. And then the tubes were like $2.99 or so. And then they also have like bands that some people call yoga bands or whatever. It's just a, but these are wide. These are, are wider than what I've seen yoga bands to be, but you know, keeps your hair out of your face or keeps your hair protected when when you're out and about. If you, you know, like me, I was having a problem with slamming my hair in car doors for all the time, sitting on my hair while I'm driving. So a lot of times if I don't have my hair like pushed up when I'm out or driving or whatever, or if I don't feel like having my hair down, this is it right here. And this is what I sleep in. It used to, again, I replaced my satin pillowcase with these and they're very reasonable. You can look, I heard they were on amazon.com. They're kind of expensive there. Okay. So that's another tip. Another tip. I'm not keeping up with the tips. Cause like I said, I don't have a list is to put these nutrients back into your body that you need. Um, if you're not eating, um, I'm not telling everybody to be vegan. Yes, I was vegan 20 years over, well, over 20 years ago. And just recently, about a year ago, me and my daughter started living a vegan lifestyle again. And do I feel better? Yes, I have energy. I have um, stamina. I feel great. Um, not all the time. I mean, I have, you know, my issues or whatever, but for the most part, I've been able to to sleep. I've been able to move around a lot better. I had problems with my back. Still, you know, still have those issues. Problems with my knee. Those are some things that I have to work out, you know. But now I have energy to work out. It's just certain things I can and cannot do. However, greens, anything green, anything from the earth, put that in your body. I mean, whatever you put in will come out. Um, if you're sitting back eating, let me see. Uh, hot links uh, with a whole bunch of grease and, and, and juices that's coming out of, you may notice that, and it may or may not happen to you. I'm not saying for sure. I mean, you may have skin problems, you know, because it comes out through your skin. Um, watch, watch the things that you put into your system. Normally, if it's stuff that's on the dollar menu or in a fast food restaurant or what have you, a lot of times it's not good for you. And, and it's hard. It's, it's really hard to eat healthy because it's expensive. And unless you have your own garden and you can pick your own tomatoes and um, peppers and, and things like that, you know, it's, it's, it's a little expensive to eat healthy, but it is well worth it. Even if you're just eating like, you know, salads and beans and other things. Like I don't, I haven't eaten rice, pasta, 
Um, what else? Rice puffs, potatoes, and since well before my child was born, that was 2004. 2004. 2004, dang, wow. My daughter's getting old. No, 2007. Oh my God. 2004, that was, that's another date that's exclusive to me. My daughter was born in 2007. She'll be 11 this year. She'll kill me since I forgot that. But anyway, I'm sorry. I digress. Um, yeah, so haven't eaten that. Haven't eaten beef or pork since I was 18. I'll be 48 in June for those that are new to my channel. I'll be 48 in June. And I'm feeling better this, this particular year than I have in a long time. Again, like I said, I have, I had sciatic nerve da uh, damage to my back, which left nerve damage in my leg, and then I have problems with my knee, but, you know, again, I, I'm feeling a little bit more fluid, I'm, I'm able to move a little bit more, uh, gonna start doing um, aqua aerobics again, and hopefully start skating again. Exercise is also important. Um, all of this helps generate a blood flow, I'm telling you this, because it generates a blood flow, which helps to aid in healthy Nazi dreads. So I'm not just telling you this to be like, oh, okay, this is what I do. You know, uh, this is my life, whatever. No, I'm, I'm talking about promoting, um, this is a recap on promoting healthy Nazi dreadlocks. Okay. And again, I, I hope we don't have any controversy over what you call your hair. Whatever you choose to call your hair is what you choose to call your hair. I choose to call my Nazi dreadlocks. I like that. Um, and you know, again, we're not going to have any issues with that because, you know, it's just not a big thing, whether you call it this or that. However, another thing that you could do to, like, keep your hair healthy and have thick roots and, and have it to, to grow and stay strong is to, a lot of people use techniques there's interlocking, there's palm rolling, there's the, the, the little crochet thing or whatever, um, twisting, twisting. A lot of that, I see people with they, oh my God. I see people literally, and I can say from my daughter's school since she's been going there for the past, since second grade, and she's in fifth grade now. And I've seen people whose hairlines are going back. And I mean men and women. It's just like back in the day when you used to wear um, plaits. You know, if, if they were too tight, nine times out of ten, by the time you became an adult, you didn't have any edges. It's the same thing with, with growing natural Nazi dreadlocks. If you are manipulating which i don't twist i don't do any of that as you can see this is about four inches of hair that's gonna just mat up on its own and and do what it do and that's what i always say i just let my hair do what it do but as you can see i i do not twist this was like once if anybody remember this used to be i called it my bang and separated from one of my nazis and it was like up here now it's all the way down here if i stretch it out it's down here and i had another one that came and I went ahead and let it, it just bonded with the one that was next to it. And that's what I wanted because I don't want a bunch of little, little small ones. Um, I prefer for my hair to be thick. This is my thickest Nazi. And it's flat. I have a lot of flats. Flats, you know, it, it doesn't mean that you're not taking care of your hair. It doesn't mean that, um, you know, it's like you're laying on them or whatever. No. Flats come from your hair texture. Like if you have a wavier hair texture, you'll have more flats. There's ways of changing that, you know, but it's through manipulation. And that's something that I just don't do. Um, again, if you are the type that goes to a stylist and you're getting your hair retwisted or whatever done all the time. So it's just like, you know, just where you can see every inch of your scalp and you're getting designs and, you know, different styles and all that, that, that can cause you to have like damage later on. Um, that I know for sure. And for those that are new, yes, I am a licensed cosmetologist. And if I, uh, promote a healthy, um, hair care with people that had chemically treated hair, then I wasn't doing, 
and I still don't touch anybody's um Nazis. I, I just just mine. Um, and I don't, I don't do hair anymore, period. But I'm still up on everything that's going on as far as hair. But if I was able to grow like people with chemically treated hair, and I mean color, color was my specialty. Um, and then also people who have relaxers and different, you know, different chemicals in their hair. I was able to keep their hair on their head. So keeping natural hair on your head is not a problem for me to talk about at all. You know, I'm not saying everybody should follow everything that I do, but I'm just telling you what has worked for me. No, I do not use conditioners in my hair. No, I do not use any soaps, any surfactants, any of that in my hair. If you do, however, and I say that because I use water only on my hair. There's going to be controversy about that. People are going to be like, well, what do you mean you use water only? Just that. I use only water, and that's enough because I don't use products in my hair. If I use anything in my hair, it is water-soluble, which aloe vera gel from the plant, that helps to add moisture to, to the hair. Lightly, um, maybe misting um, some distilled water with a little bit of jojoba oil in a spray bottle, shaking it up and using it at the roots. That also helps if I'm feeling like, okay, you know, maybe if I do get in the pool and my hair is feeling a little um, dry or whatever, I, I usually I put it on my scalp, not on my hair, on my scalp, because it's going to come down your hair anyway, eventually. Mine has a long way to travel, but it will get there. So uh, product usage. Please do not use any products that are heavy on the hair. I don't I don't like shea butter, all that type of stuff, mango butter, all that type of uh, things for your hair. People use it. That's fine. If, if you're using it sparingly, that's fine. But you can really just use some household things like um, aloe vera. If you don't have an aloe vera plant, um, just natural aloe vera gel from a health food store you can use um olive oil a little bit of light olive oil but i prefer for uh, some reason i prefer jojoba oil rose water you can make your own rose water um using like fresh roses if you i mean that's the real deal they have a lot of videos on YouTube about it. I haven't done a video about it because I don't have a camera. I'm using a, a laptop. So I can't video how I make my rose water. But real rose water is not pink. <laughs> and even if you get it from a health food store, it's still it might have a tinge of it. But it's really not pink. Mine comes out clear. And I use like pink roses. But um, mine come out. Um, pretty clear. I'm gonna try to keep this video a little short. I always say I'm gonna do mini videos and now since I started saying I was gonna do mini videos, all of my videos have become over 18 minutes and I noticed that the attention span of my royals is not that long. So, you know, I just really wanted to um, step in and just recap on some of the things that we need to be doing for ourselves. Again, such as drinking water, This is my personal bottle. My daughter doesn't use it. My name is on it. She has her own personal bottle. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I'm drinking out of a jug, it's because for some reason when I drink out of a jug instead of a cup, I drink way more. I mean, I drink it faster because I just, just go, go, go. You know, it's just easy. It's just like if you have to drink some green juice, which is also good for you, some green juice and you're just not feeling it, you know, drinking it out of a large cup, you know, you could just go ahead and take it, take it down. And your water should be at room temperature in order to go through your body, you know, good. And, um, but sometimes, I'm going to keep it real, I like my water cold. I do. Here's Lucky. He wants to jump in a video. Hey, Lucky. Lucky Osiris. It's my son. He's in every video now, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, keep your hair cut. Okay, let's go over. We're gonna drink our water. We're gonna eat healthier. We're gonna, if we drink alcohol, we're gonna drink less alcohol and more water. Oh, if you smoke cigarettes, cigarettes that scent stays in your hair, you will forever. I don't, I don't think water gets that smell out. I don't. I think that you would have to do like apple cider vinegar, ACV rinses and stuff like that. Cigarettes have more 
chemicals in it to anything I know, any drug that I know. Um, let's see, what's the drug out here? I'm not really up on a whole lot of drugs. Um, meth. Cigarettes have more chemicals in it than meth. I'm not saying do meth and don't and start stop smoking cigarettes. But if you could quit smoking cigarettes, that would be like a great, 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 great start, you know, because, again, that dulls the hair, dulls the skin, the smoke dulls the color of your hair. And also it just it just drives you out totally. Same as with any other drug, cocaine or what have you. Um, yeah, so we're going to drink our water. We're going to um, eat healthier. Watch the things that we put in our body. Not put our hands in our hair. We're going to be patient with the whole process. We're not going to worry about, ooh, I want my hair to be as long as hers or I want that. It's not about that. It's about your hair being the way that it is because, you know, we have our own footprints or whatever and no two Nazi dreads are alike. So just let it go at its own pace. And, and the main thing is keeping it healthy. You know, healthy hair grows um, and doesn't break off. So, we're going to watch, you know, everything that, that's around us that we put, you know, we're going to keep our hair covered. If we're not doing anything, we're going to, you know, wrap it up or whatever and put the cap on and go to bed with this on because it's going to protect our hair. Um, yeah, I love this thing. I'm going to stretch it all the way out with all this hair. Um... So we're going to keep it away from debris. We're not going to put anything with beeswax. Try to stay away from shea butter. I know a lot of people are going to argue with me about that. But, hey, I'm just telling you what I do. And it seems to be working. I mean, <laughs> all my hair is on my head. Um, except for hair that I have slammed in the car doors and stuff. I'm going to get ready to end this video. And maybe, um, you know, do a recap maybe in six months. It's still going to be basically the same thing. That's why... You know, I'm just doing it because a lot of new people have come to the channel and then a lot of people that have been with me for a while may have, like, forgotten the things that will help their hair to continue to grow and glow and, you know, be free. So with that, I would just like to say that I love you all. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and supporting me for forever and my all to all my new people thank you for coming uh please subscribe if you like this video anybody if you like this video thumbs up the video you know it doesn't hurt it all it takes is a second if you're a new subscriber subscribe hit the bell that will show you whenever i upload new videos which is normally i mean since they're so long normally about one a week or one every other week i was doing many videos and trying to do two a week but they weren't getting that much um that much play. I may still do many videos. I'm not sure. We'll see. It's just that it seems like all my videos are super long now. Um, if you fast forward through it, you might miss something. So, you know, but I love you all. And, you know, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, my channel is still fairly new. It's only been up for hmm, how many years? It's, un it's under nine years, under Let's say 2009. Hmm. Wow. Maybe two, that's 2009 maybe is when I started my videos. But my hair was already like, you know, super long. So I would say, God, not, well, I, I'm not a new channel. I, I've been up for a, a while now. Okay, I just wasn't posting a lot of videos. But anyway, okay, let me end this. Peace and blessings and balance and and just loving life and and each other and i'll see you in the next video